The pressure to be perfect, the reigning Miss Georgia says it led her to an eating disorder. Hear her story just ahead. Covering Western Georgia and East Alabama, this is WRBL News 3 Night Watch. Underneath the crown of Miss Georgia lies a secret that's only recently been revealed. Good evening, everyone. We thank you for trusting News 3. I'm Phil Scoggins. And I'm Teresa Whitaker. This may come as a surprise to some. Each year in the U.S., more people die from eating disorders than breast cancer. Tonight, the reigning Miss Georgia is revealing details about her secret struggle with bulimia and what she's doing to recover. News 3's Brandis Hudson traveled to Atlanta for the exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. Everything looked perfect. Everyone thought that things were perfect, but deep down I knew that things weren't. And that was because I had an eating disorder and I have had one since I was 12 years old. Leighton Jordan says she had an abundance of love and support growing up. But her fast-paced ballet schedule, homeschool, and living with a special needs sibling was starting to cause stress. And that left Leighton looking for something she could control. And the only way I found that was through what I didn't eat or what I did eat. Leighton was a young young tween striving for the ideal ballerina body by starving herself. You know, you have your director, your teachers constantly looking at you and a lot of times commenting on your body. Um, so I knew she was very preoccupied with the weight, but I didn't know the severity of what she was struggling with inside. Most people who develop eating disorders are um, born very sensitive. Oftentimes a really um, overly developed need to make everybody around them happy, which of course leads to perfectionism and a sense of inadequacy. At 14 years old, Layden was treated for anorexia. Her weight was restored for a few months, but it didn't last long. At age 15, she was bulimic, binging on food, then purging it to prevent weight gain. I was tired of trying to always be perfect and to always put up this perfect front. So then the eating disorder became a way to have a release and to just not be perfect. She tried to fight the potentially deadly disorder, bulimia, on her own. And I was in complete denial. I think I read multiple books, multiple web pages on how to overcome this. And after five years of keeping it a secret, I knew that I couldn't overcome this on my own. Layden first confided in a friend, then her mother. Now, while undergoing treatment herself, Layden is raising awareness about eating disorders and telling girls her story, showing them that even someone who seems to have it all isn't perfect. I went into recovery saying I want to incorporate my faith in every way possible to get me to the freedom that I know God has in store. And it was hard at first because I felt a little bit guilty that I was doing this to the body that God had given me. And I couldn't quite come to terms that he was still okay with me, even though I was harming my body. And so through recovery, they really tried to teach me that I am enough just as I am and that we are forgiven of all sins. And these were things that I could tell anyone else any day, but to take it on to me and to believe it for myself, that was difficult. She stresses the importance of a treatment team, including participation in outpatient groups and sessions with not only a psychologist or psychiatrist, but also a dietitian. She sees Paige Love once a week at Nutrafit in Atlanta. We're addressing the relationship of food and mood, fear of food and how you're reacting to the food, addressing food fears. Now that Layden is making progress, she's looking forward to having breakfast at IHOP with love. The outing is a form of response therapy. I'm eating with her. I'm eating the same kind of food, so I'm also demonstrating comfort that I'm okay with eating that food and we're eating in a normal eating pace. Here at her dietitian's office, Jordan says she uses a technique called split journaling, where she writes down a negative thought she may have about food and challenges it with something positive. If I eat a piece of cake, I gain a lot of weight. Yeah. What's the negative? And then the positive would be, it's normal to eat one piece of cake. I enjoyed it. Layden is almost home on her road to recovery. She's yeah. thrown away her scale, and when it comes to society's ideas, deal body image she says so what who cares as long as you're healthy i think that's all that matters in atlanta brandis hudson reporting
If you want to learn more about Miss Georgia's story, eating disorders, and free treatment resources, visit our website, WRBL.com. To give you some more perspective on the scope of the problem, the National Association of Anorexia Nervosa and Associated Disorders, Inc., says about 339,400 people reported eating disorders in Georgia. Alabama has about 162,800 reports, according to the latest statistics.